Hi, I'm Paul Lazarus, and I'm the director and producer of a film called Slingshot. From a very early age, I both wanted to know more and more about the rules by which this universe of ours operates. And through the world of engineering, I wanted to start applying those rules to create inventions that would give people a better quality of life if those inventions work. I have known uh, the inventor Dean Kamen for close to 30 years, and uh, I have been very fortunate to make a bunch of short documentary projects with him about all his various causes, particularly his Segway device. And it was about 2006, he mentioned to me that he was working on the world's water crisis. And when he told me more about it, I realized that this possibly and probably was going to be his most important invention ever. I've always wanted to try to get a story about what it means to go from an idea in your head to reality. I'd never been to a developing country. I'm in Ghana and I'm watching young kids who've never seen running water in their lives run to a tap and turn it on and, and not just get water, but get potable, injectable grade water out of it. Uh, that was a startling moment. When the first images came back and we saw a crowd of excited kids smiling and laughing and watching these kids just guzzle this water down. Everybody just sat there and looked. We had three very clear defined goals. One was to help the machine, which is called Slingshot, get spread around the world. And two was, just as you said, to inspire people about science and technology and frankly provide a little hope. It was mainly just the notion that, that anybody could possibly solve a problem this big really intrigued me and I, uh, I think <laughs> hope is severely lacking. So we hope we are doing that. And then the third one, which is maybe the most insidious but most important is we, a lot of us, and I'll include myself in this, take water for granted. Bad water is responsible for two million deaths per year and almost all of them are kids. <laughs> We could empty half of all the beds in all the hospitals in the world by just giving people clean water. It was all about capturing him. And I think the movie became more and more stylistically, what evokes this guy? And I've been criticized a lot for what I think is what's special about the film, because fil he's a very disruptive thinker. His mind is mercurial. You never know what's gonna come out of his mouth. He's talking about this topic and suddenly you're talking about it. Well, the movie does that and I think I'm very proud of that.